Okay guys, recently I watched Wednesday and of course I instantly wanted to do all the characters from the show. <laughs> I mean, that's my life now. Anyway, I decided to start with Pugsley. I've got a confession to make. All this time I've always thought his name was Pugsley. I don't know why, I just kept mishearing it I guess. But then I saw the subtitles on Netflix and it was Pugsley. Oh, yikes. Anyway, needless to say, that was a facepalm moment. But anyway, with that pointless fact confessed to and the internet appropriately responding with tumbleweed, let's get on with it. So Pugsley, as with the entire Adams family, is very monochromatic. I'm going to be using some James C. Brett 100% cotton yarn for the bulk of this project with some acrylic thrown in. I will have a list of everything I used, including colours in the description box below. I just wanted to quickly talk about the whole black and white part of the project. When I first put the black next to the white, it turned out just a little bit too stark and I absolutely hated it. The white was just too bright and a bit blinding and so I decided to tone it down by using this slightly grey skein instead. Funnily enough, when you remove the pure white it looks fine, plus I wanted something reminiscent of a black and white TV effect anyway, so a muted white was perfectly fine so I didn't really feel too bad making that substitution. Using some reference images, I created the stripes on his jumper. The stripes are uneven and aren't actually straight. I had some ideas on how I was going to do that, but it would have required me to vary the heights of the stitches, which would have caused problems later on down the line, and would have taken too long to correct. Plus, I was only going to do this on the torso and not the arms, so the arms are just far too too small for that level of detail anyway so I opted to go for the simple stripes but varying the thicknesses of the stripes instead. That also led me to do simple straight no frill stripes for the torso as well because I thought why not. And as for the boots they're, they're really just nothing fancy I just shortened them to make room for the longer shorts that he wears. Once I finished the trousers or shorts portion of this amigurumi, I moved on to the jumper. I varied the striped thicknesses, only changing colour at the beginning of the rounds. It's pretty much as I mentioned earlier, so let's switch to the time lapse for this bit as I show the progress of the jumper. I also debated whether to add dark shading around his eyes, but uh, after a lot of umming and ahhing, needless to say, I thought better of it in the end and I just left them plain. I added ears because I think he just looked better with the ears than without. I rarely add ears to my amigurumi, but if a project needs it and it fits with the aesthetics of the character, then I will begrudgingly add them. <laughs> For Pugsley's hair, I did his hair in a similar way that I did my recent Mushroom Girl's hair, but I gave him a slightly wavy, uh, curly-ish fringe, and I made the hairstyle shorter overall. Um, if you haven't seen my Mushroom Girl video, I will link the video in all the usual places. 
but anyway after I finished the wig cap I simply sewed it into place on the head I wanted to recreate the locker scene from the first episode and to do that I needed an apple. I decided to cheat a little bit on this one and used a cabochon instead. So taking some sandpaper I scratched the back of the cabochon just to prepare the surface to take the UV resin. I then got my pin and I stuck it to the back of the cabochon so I'll be able to um, pin it onto the amigurumi later on. In the end I think the cabochon worked out rather than sculpting an entire apple so I think it's fine, it, it's fine, <laughs> it works. So all that's left to do is to finish sewing the hair on and we are done. This project had very little extras making it relatively straightforward. However, that brings its own challenge in making it look distinct with so little to work with. I did find the colour changes were a bit annoying but they were ultimately worth it in the end. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, comment and even consider subscribing if you like the content I create. Don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And Pugsley may not have had a huge appearance on Wednesday, but let's show him some love in the beauty shots. See you in the next one. Bye. Mm-hmm.